Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Scum single player episode. So, we got an update yesterday. We got a little patch yesterday, and it included quite a few things, quite a few cool things. One of which I'm going to try and obtain today the Phoenix Tears. It recovers all, or it kind of stabilizes all wounds. I'm about that. I kind of like that. Also, we got a whole bunch of a. Uh, new camouflaged compound bows and to complement them we also got some new quivers and nice camouflages new camouflages or, or really really pre-existing ones but it kind of makes sense to have them you know all available now plus we also got a, a little texture buff on all the spears and i'm actually going to try and make one right now i actually want to see what they look like because i've not had a chance to actually see what they look like so we're going to make a wee wooden one i'm not going to use it not really. I'm not really going to use it. Um, our whole job here right now is to kind of go for the, you know, the bunker. That's what we're doing. That's what we were doing before. But let's have a little look at this. Is it exactly the same? Or is it different? Oh, no, it is different. It is different. It is a lot. Oh, it does look like a sharpened end stick. Just a long stick with a sharpened end on it. That's really cool. I like that. And it still, it still looks like a tree branch as well. Yeah, look, it's still, it's still got the, still got the kind of bark going on about it. It's got kind of deformities. It isn't perfectly straight. And the, uh, it looks to be that the sharpened point is also kind of random. It's not uniform or like, you know, it's not the same in each side. That's pretty cool. I do like that. I do like to see that. But anyway, we're here. Zulu 4. And, uh... Pervocello. Uh, somebody told me the translation for this and I've totally forgotten it and I'm so sorry that I've forgotten about it, but you know, things, things get lost in translation. Haha. <laughs> right, uh, I'm going to go through these white containers again because the loot has respawned and I feel like seeing if there's actually... Oh, that crossbow's still here. Stinky. I'm not going to take that. Um, the shotgun that we've got with us, the DT-11B. Uh, oh... I don't have the I don't have the right guns for that. I'm gonna eat all of these crackers actually. I'm just gonna gun them. Uh, we're gonna go into the uh, we're gonna go into the town a little bit, and then we're gonna head a little bit off to the west because that is exactly where the bunker is. Uh, so we're just gonna have a wee look around here. Someone has already informed me that there is no fuel station here. There's not actually a fuel station here. So uh, getting back is going to be kind of painful. We're gonna have to roll back. Which is, it's okay. It's totally fine. I don't mind it. It's just going to be quite difficult is all. That's all. <laughs> hmm. Ah, there we go. Pineapple, show me. Show me yourself. We've got some high tops in here. We've got some rags. Again, I'm just going to go through this town. Have a little look. See if I can find some, uh, you know, just little random bits and bobs. Before we end up heading into the, uh, the main event. Which happens to be... The, uh, <laughs> the bunker. What about in here? What we got in here? Now, I'm going to check all the, the little, you know, garages and such. Apparently, there's also been an SUV or a couple of uh, vehicles found here, which is quite interesting. Because you would think if this place has vehicles on it, boats, you know, bicycles, well, not maybe not bicycles, but motorbikes, SUVs, etc., that there would be a fuel station here. You would think there'd be a fuel station. I like this though. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. Couple of sunbeds. And a whole bunch of junk food. Jesus, we've got we've got uh, nachos, we've got some normal crisps. Those are ridged crisps. Chocolate bars, chocolate bars upon chocolate bars. We've got a bunch of soda bottles. I was expecting, like, beer cans or something like that. Right, I'm gonna gun this, uh, little drink right here. I might go into the supermarket right there. See if I can find a little bit more on the drink side of things. And let's just yeet that into space. Let's just go through these as well. We've got, a uh, disgusting apple, but, you know, we'll eat it. It's okay. It might be a little bit gooey, but it's okay. Oh, A lockpick! I'll take that. Now, the re- Oh, this isn't actually- What is this? Is this a library? 
Oh, it's a postal service. It's a postal service. Oh, okay. Does that mean we'll find lots of lots of uh, paper here? What have we got on this? We've got some magnifying glass. Any of the areas I can search here? Let's try the back. Any storage areas? Oh, there's a couple of lockers right here. Rags or strips of strips of rags, rag strips. Lots of floater packs. Lots and lots of floater packs. We've got a little kitchen in here. Nothing particularly that good. Oh, that's got the that's got the same sound effect as the uh, the blast doors and bunkers. <laughs> that's kind of funny, actually. Right, I'm gonna take this axe with me. I'm not going to use it as a normal axe. I'm going to use it as a tomahawk. That that's all I'm going to use that for. Right, I am looking for like shotgun rounds, just you know, maybe battered, beaten shotgun rounds. I can check all these areas here that we may find some. We may not find Oh it's a banana. It tastes a little bit funny, but it's okay. It's alright. Nausea. Food repulsion. Yee yuck. Let's uh let's just eat all of our cantaloupe here. Cantaloupe's actually a really nice melon. I like the honeydew ones. I like them in a fruit salad though. The cantaloupes I can eat by themselves. Right, we're gonna go further to, what is this direction, south? I did see a bunch of uh, garages down here. I didn't actually search the garage that was, on yeah, right here. I didn't actually search this. Let's have a wee nosy in here as soon as I'm finished my cantaloupe. Surprisingly, no puppets. Maybe because I spawned here. Uh, we've got a bunch of 9mm, I may as well take it. There was 9mm back there, but we only had like, what, 10 rounds of it? There's 15 rounds here. That's like a full clip, or a full, not a full clip, not a clip. A magazine, a full magazine. Sorry, so, sorry to my American friends. Bolts, bolts and more nails and metal and all sorts of gizmos. I wonder if this place has a police station? It seems to, it, it, it looks to be of the size of a town that would have a police station. Oh, that's a good find. Even, even more screwdrivers, even more bobby pins, they're always welcome because the Phoenix Tears is actually locked behind something that we need to lockpick. That's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Because... <laughs> I, uh, I'm good. Apparently, it's a, 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 an iron lock. An iron lock? It's not a... What is that up there? It's a construction site. Apparently, it's an iron lock. It's not a rusty lock like the legacy rusty locks that we're used to. That's a lot of bullets. We've got a full stack of 9mm. If we find ourselves a little 9mm gun... Uh, an MP4! Oh, I'll take that. I'm almost tempted to drop these mines because I don't have a lot of room. Uh, in regards to, you know, space. I've only got, like, maybe a backpack's worth. Small backpack's worth. What else have we got over here? A tractor. A burnt-down tractor. 20... 22. Yuck. Don't like it. Right, I'm going to have a wee look at this uh, construction site up here. As soon as the construction site is searched, we're going to the bunker. And this will be the decider, really. This will be the decider. That's actually not... Oh, it's scaffolding. What we got in here? Anything useful? No. These little holiday homes are very good for spawning bags. I think I've said that in the past. They're very good for spawning the likes of uh, hiking bags and just general purpose bags. Only the wee small ones, wee small backpacks. Um. Oh, no, nothing. Excuse me. Whoa, that was a big dinner I had. Whoa, jeez oh. Right, let's go up to the scaffolding. Let's go up to these buildings up here. There's a lot of areas here that you could actually make it like a pretty good base out of. There's a lot of raw materials here. There's an absolute abundance of raw materials here. Maybe not level 3 and level 4 walls, but definitely metal walls. Like full metal walls. So if we look in here, we look in here. Also, you notice I'm not pulling anything out right now. I'm trying to save myself some time here. Okay, nothing there. What's in here? 
That's a good shotgun. Too bad I don't have the ammo for it. <laughs> Too bad I don't have the ammo. Now, can I parkour my way up here? I can. I'm a little bunny. I'll jump up. Okay, so as... Oh, no, wait. So, we've got cement bags here. Do we have gravel bags? If we've got gravel bags, then you can get to level 3 walls. Or level 4 walls, sorry. This would be a really cool place to put a base. Just a shame that there isn't actually a fuel station here. Uh, we've searched a good little... A good little amount of this place, and there doesn't seem to be a fuel station. There doesn't seem to be a lot of puppets either. It's so strange. You know fine well what's gonna happen now, don't you? I think you guys have already sussed this out. I think you guys have sussed this out because um, I felt it as well. Do you know what's going to happen? There's not going to be any puppets that spawn here specifically. Right? All the puppets that we're going to encounter now are going to be inside the bunker. They're going to be in the bunker. And I've only got one full magazine for the Deagle right now. So, this is going to be uh, interesting, put it that way. This is going to be chaotic as well. Lots of, uh, this is a nice little street. Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, this is good. We might actually be able to get ourselves some shotgun runs. There might actually, aha, puppets are in here. Ah, load of crap. Right, let's deal with them. Let's deal with them the old-fashioned way. Down you get. Open up this door and deal with this guy. Shut that door. And welly you. Oh, I love, I love the sound of the sword when it strikes them. It's such a, it, it's such a clean, like, kind of cutting sound. Oh, oh, I battered him right in the forehead with that. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Did I not, did I not, did, did, did I not, did I not say that I'd find, you know, ammo here? Yeah, yeah, let's go. This is good. Perfect. Uh, we've also got some flare cartridges, and we've got a bunch of other things, but let's lockpick this stuff. There we go, success. Hopefully we get some 12 gauge. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I ain't doing any of those anytime soon. You can forget that. <laughs> you can forget. You can forget that, honestly. I am not going to the trouble of doing that. <laughs> Right, let's take out all these bobby pins and let's make ourselves some lockpicks. Let's just leave them on the ground. We don't have to pick them up. We can use them from vicinity. Perfect. Let's have a wee nosy through here. More, more flare cartridges. I was, I was hoping that those might actually be shotgun shells. Oops, I broke it. That was an oopsie by me. My bad. Craft lockpick. There we go. And oh my god. <laughs> the flare cartridges, there's so many. Okay. Let's just get uh let's just clear this area, shall we? I'm gonna leave that door open. I'm gonna leave that open in case there's a lot of them upstairs, which there probably will be. There are probably lots of them. Right, that's rude. That's rude. Excuse me? That's in your head! How are you still alive? Uh, actually, I, I, can, I, can I get that back? Can I, can I just get that back? Give me two seconds. Okay. <laughs> this, this, this... I, I don't know why this is funny. I don't know why this is funny. It's it is funny though. It's funny to me. There we go. Right, give me that axe back. Thank you. There's a beer here. 
There's a beer in the in the police station. I don't think that's quite allowed. Okay, deal with them nice and quickly. Let her stand up. And do her in the shower. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, two. We need two of these. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Crafting. Craft. Craft. And lockpick. There we go. Success. One down. Next one. Oh, that, that could have been a winner. That could have been a winner. Uh, Mohawk Bow. I... Damn. Some... I mean, really good. I mean, really, really good. We've got two shotguns. We found a... Okay, I'm just gonna do this. I'ma just do that. <laughs> it seems to be an easier way of doing this. Okay. Let them come down the stairs. I need to let them come down the stairs. Come on. There we go. Let's just eject those. That's it. There he come. And dead. Oh, she didn't actually get killed. I thought I killed her. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. Sorry. Sorry. Switch to my sword. There we go. Save the bullets. Oh, not that. I want this. What's, what's, what, what's going on over there? What's, what's that? Okay, she's actually upstairs on the roof. Oh, she did the splits. God damn. Okay. Uh, two here. Let's have a little look through these lockers. We've got a little child's bag. We've got a normal, a normal bag, MMA gloves, and a <laughs> a, a mask and snorkel. Okay, alrighty then. Okay, right. Take out our bobby pins. Let's have a wee nosy through here. Oh, we need to actually make the lock picks. Hmm. Make the lock picks. That might actually be a good idea. Lockpick. Come on. Bingo. Bingo. I don't know how I did that. Come on. There we go. I thought it was going to break there. It, f it felt like it was going to break. More, more knuckle dusters. And a cobra. <laughs> what a waste. Right. Let's go, let's go to the bunker. Let's, we may as well go to the bunker now. There's a, uh, there's nothing up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that military boxes? Hey. Ugh, why? Why would they have 22 LR? Why? Why would they have 22 LR? That's just, ugh. Right, we'll check the garages. We'll, we'll have a wee look through the garages and then we'll move. Okay, good stuff. We've got a shovel and a hat. What we got, what we got, what we got? Sledgehammer and a bra. Uh, battery. And a bra. Okay. Right. Go through these. Let's see if we can find ourselves. I mean, that's good. That's a, that's a good little light on my gas lantern. That's quite a useful little thing right there. See if you don't want to constantly make... Uh, you know, fires and things in your bases. Just get a lantern or a portable uh, work light. The portable work lights are actually really, really good because you can angle them and you can set the uh, you can set how bright you want the the light to actually be. That's a cool feature. Something simple like that's quite cool. Some paper. God. Oh, I'm kind of happy I searched this now. <laughs> is that a crutch? It is a crutch. 
I could beat someone to death with that. Metal. Right. Let's 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 go to the bunker now. Off we go. We can sprint here. It's totally fine to sprint here. Totally fine to sprint here. One thing that I am short of though is water. And that that's that's just a little bit of a concern for me. Just a little bit. Just just a, just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, my character's currently warm. It is because I'm wearing a balaclava right now, but it's offset by the fact that I'm wearing um, uh, shorts. Why does it call it short trousers? They're just shorts. They're j oh, search for rocks. That's a big rock pile. Good God. Okay, bunker time. We're not that far away from it, and we're all we also seem to be in the dead heat as well. Uh, I am going to drop the small axe. I'm going to leave that in this pocket. I'm going to take that and put it in that pocket. I've got plenty of items here to heal myself, so we shouldn't we shouldn't have a problem. Okay, we've got a half decent amount of space here now. We've not got a lot of shotgun ammo. Not got a lot of deagle ammo. We're going to have to be conservative a little bit with our ammo. Um, if there is any suicide puppets, target them first. Deal with them as quickly as possible. If they hoard up, if they group up like that, I need to get a lot of collateral damage. Um, you know, shooting one through another. And hopefully, hopefully I kill them. That's the thinking, at least. Oh, they, they're spawning. They're spawning. Uh-huh. Let's just go up the hill to the left a wee bit here. I don't want to have to run into a little group of them. A little group of them. Oh, that's the wrong button. Die. 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 Okay. Oh, she's... <laughs> Look at her. She's fucking rolling down the hill. <laughs> okay. Just take her time here. You know, carve a little path through the horde. Through this little, uh... This little jungle of puppets, you know. Just make sure I stay alive here, because if I, uh... That's what I should do. That's what I should do. Ladies and gents, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. And it involves killing this puppet right here. And stripping her naked. Oh, I need to deal with her. Oh, that's not good. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Let's just, uh, let's just make ourselves scarce here. Woo! Okay. Oh, I didn't search them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bed here. I'm going to build it just outside of the, uh, the bunker. That way, I won't have to, uh... Basically, if I choose a sector spawn, the chances of me landing on this island is very low. Incredibly low, because it is disconnected from the main island. Technically, this island is disconnected from the main island as well, but it has several parts of it that are actually conjoined to this via bridges. So you've got the bridge from Zulu 3 to A3, Zulu 2 to A2, uh, Zulu 1 to A1, and Zulu 0 to Alpha, what, Alpha 0. Lots of places where you can kind of connect to either either part of the island. This is going to be interesting. I've never hit this one. I've never actually hit this place. This will be a first time for me. Oh, <gasps> Egoot. Right, you get your stamina back, dude. Jesus. God. Okay. It's a little goot. That'll be Tommy wishing me good luck. Either that or it's a bad sign that I'm going to die. It's a bad omen. Either or. Either or. If you don't know who Tommy is, Tommy is one of my, uh, uh, he's one of my admins. He's one of the master, senior admins uh, of my multiplayer server and of my Discord as well. And he likes to drop a lot, and I mean a lot, of goats on my head to try and kill me. And it sometimes works. <laughs> Yep, that's that's the sound I wanted to hear. Right, we're just gonna we're just gonna park ourselves right here. 
Just, just for a minute. Okay, so I can I can see movement to my right. You can see the entranceway, the hole in the fence, the big hole in the fence. See the next fence section to the right, the far right of that? Can you see that? Can you see him moving? Oh, it's a suicide puppet. That, oh, that's totally what I wanted to happen. Oh dear lord. Oh! Lord! Okay, it's just the heavies now. Down you get. Okay, reload. I don't have a lot of bullets for this. This thing's only got three rounds in it. I think now's a good, maybe a good time to uh, do what I said what I was gonna do, and make a make a bed here. <laughs> I don't have. Oh, that's not very good. That's not very good. But it's I can search this guy behind me. What I need to do is I need to get three rags. I need to get three decent rags. I'm not gonna use these ones because they're technically clean. Uh, right, that's not what I want. Search him. This is going to be difficult. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a difficult task. Uh, mainly because I, I'm i short on ammo. Okay, now that's good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Work trousers or military tactical pants. Those are really good. Those will produce the goods that I need. There you go. Right, let's make a bed quickly. Uh, bed, 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 bed. We need four rags. That's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, if I search you, doesn't seem to be any sentries here. I could be completely wrong in saying that, though. I can't hear any moving. I can still hear. I can still hear the. I can still hear the beepers, you know. But I can't. I can't necessarily hear any sentries walking about, stomping around, you know. Right, so we need, we need three long sticks. That's a lie, we need three long sticks and five small sticks. Yeah, cool. Well, that's fine, at least we can transport these. What we'll do is we'll make the rope first and then we'll get the long sticks. We'll start that all out. Okay, one more, one more, uh... I'm going to go third person here because I can't see. Okay, let's craft. Let's get ourselves a rope. Let's just do some preparation work here, basically. This is what you want to do. See, see, see for example, if you're playing on my server where there's lots of puppets and it's just torture. Um, it's probably a good thing to make a bed wherever you're going, wherever you're raiding. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> you'll probably need it. Okay. Uh, that's two big sticks. We could... Oh, there's a loot drop. We could go and tackle the loot drop before we go into the bunker. See if we can get ourselves a little bit better prepared. Okay, that, sh that should be everything. That should be everything. Uh, bed. Craft. Let's just put a... Let's, let's just put it right there. Um, I don't want those to be selected. I'd... Oh, my item got destroyed. What got destroyed? <gasps> my sword got destroyed. My sword's been destroyed. That's... Uh... That's concerning. Just a little bit. I've still got my knife. No, I don't. My, my sword's still there. What did I ruin? It was my rope. It was my rope. I didn't realise my sword was still here. Oops. <laughs> my bad, guys. My bad. My bad. 
Right, we're just going to make a improvised rope here, just out of these rag strips, because we filled it with the necessary rags. Let's get an improvised rope on the go. Improvised rope. Yeah, this shouldn't take long. We could hit that, uh, that loot drop just for the sake of getting a better weapon or getting a weapon with ammo. Are you gonna... Are you gonna behave? There we go. Now we have a bed. I can see the H. Right, let's go, let's go and, let's go and do this quickly. It should just be over here, down the, uh... Oh. Oh, there's plenty of things to loot here as well. This is really good. What we'll do is we'll scour the top. We'll get the, the top of this bunker area sorted out first. And then we'll go into the underground. Before we do that, let's grab this uh, loot drop. Because I, I desperately need something. I don't know. Rounds. A different gun. <laughs> Maybe. A different sidearm at least. If there's an M9. Or an MP5. Or something. Something half decent in this loot drop. I'm going to be very, very happy. If there's nothing, well, you know exactly where we're going after. Now, it should have... There it is. Now, I need to be slightly careful here. Let me just go into first person. Doesn't seem to be any puppets around. Oh, I lied. I lied. There's one right there. There's two there. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to be very careful here. <laughs> we're going to have to be kind of stealthy. There's one behind that bush. One right here. Yep, yep. Die. Die. Be gone. Thank you. Nice, nice beach though. Nice beach. Kind of like it. Would like to visit one of these at some point. <laughs> I don't get a lot of time to go abroad. Okay. Open sesame. Bingo. Let's go. Okay, let's shut the door. Shut the door. Because, you know, bad things can happen in an instant. Okay, we're not going to look through them until we're actually all sorted here. Okay, so that's two sorted. That was a nearly... Come on, a wee bit of persuasion. There we go. Thought I was going to lose that one. one -er. Ah, hoo hoo hoo! That was nearly, that was nearly, I nearly had that there, just a little bit off. There we go, perfect. Search. That's good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's actually, that's, that's kind of big. That's, that's kind of big. That's kind of, oh, that's, that's kind of dirty that, that's, oh my god. That's kind of dirty. I kind of like that. That's, uh... Yeah. Ah, oh my... Oh my. I'm, I'm only going to take that much. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Lads and ladies... <laughs> ah, okay. Alright. This is good. I like this. It's probably going to be... It might be a wee bit problematic getting back into the bunker. Uh, but at least we have something to take them out from range. We can take them out silently. There are two... Um, what are these? Slip-on bow silencers. I'm hoping that this, this goes well now. I have three advanced lockpicks plus a 40 out of 40 screwdriver. That, that loot drop, that loot drop just secured us.
for this bunker. That loot drop just secured us for the bunker. <laughs> and we've got 36 broadhead carbon arrows. What more can you ask for in this game? Like, you, you, you genuinely don't need any clothes. You don't need any clothes, you just need a compound bow, the one that I've got on me right now. The the, the arrows, the, the attachments for the bow. A quiver and a backpack. You can run around bollock naked with, like, military boots on, and you can kill everyone with this. Don't you dare, don't you dare hit me. I've got a little bit of a creeping suspicion that the goats are actually working. Oh, there is a sentry there. I have a creeping suspicion that the uh, that the goats are in fact against me. They seem like they're passive little creatures. I think that's that. I think that's just a load of shit. That's a pack of lies. Um, because those things, those things can break your legs. I'm just gonna gun these. I'm gonna gun these because I'm, I may as well stay well hydrated here. We've got plenty of calories. I don't have to eat this MRE just now. But definitely, definitely going to need to make use of these uh, drinks here. Okay, let's get a little lay of the land here. So there's one sentry that's right in front of me. There's two sentries. There's two sentries. So that's the main entrance down there at that. In fact, that is the main entrance right there. So what we're going to do is we're not going to do that. We're going to go through the ladder hatch because that's the smart way of doing things. This is going to be risky. I can already see something bad happening. Oh, that as well. Get that out and let's move that there. Put that there and put that there. Just keeping my eyes open, you know, making sure there's no problems. Okay, this, this, this can go one or two ways. I, <laughs> I jumped. Uh-huh. This is overpowered. This is so overpowered. Oh my god, I just cleared this. I just I just cleared this entire Quonset hut with just these arrows. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Um Is are they are they all dead? They're all dead? <laughs> what? Now, I, let, let me just let me just emphasize something. I'm not very good with this bow. I'm not very good when it comes to actually using this bow. I'm actually kind of terrible with it. I kind of prefer the comp, the the, uh, the the recurve bows because they're actually a lot easier for me to use. But uh, uh, <laughs> I've just I've I just took out all of them. And I got all my arrows back as well. Okay, so there's an AS Val. Is that an, a an AS Val? Yes, it's an AS Val. Okay, an OKP site. We monocle site. What we want is some 12 gauge. That's 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 truly all I want here. Knuckle dusters. 1911. Smoke. 1911 magazine? It's not going to be like this, is it? It's the... That's... That's a bad at 50 caliber uh, magazine right there. That right there is... Is a monstrous magazine. Hold on. It's... It's... Right, okay. There's a bit... Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me just do this. There you go. You can, you can kind of see the, the general size of it now. It kind of warps into the ground. I don't know why it does that. But that's, that's an M M82A1 Barrett 50 caliber uh, magazine. 
That thing holds bullets that will ruin your day and your car. More knuckle dusters. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? It's going to be one of those days. It's going to be a knuckle duster day. I can already feel it. Oh, no. <laughs> this isn't good. If that if that's what I'm pulling out of this Quonset hut right now, um, I oh my god, that's actually quite good. Why is it giving me such good stuff to actually obtain good stuff now? Okay. Now that we've cleared that out, that's that I think that's where the ladder hatch is gonna be. I have to be careful with this sentry though. Let me just go into third person here. Okay, that that sentry should not spot me here. This seems to be a really easy place to get into if this is the ladder hatch. Oh no, it's not. Okay. But there is pla there is things that I can loot here. Oh. I'm going to I'm going to keep that if I find an M9. If I find an M9, that's going to be really really useful. Uh let's just pack that. Let's pack that magazine. Load it nice and fast. This is based on your dexterity skill by the way. Loading, loading mags like this, mag drills kind of deal, uh, based on dexterity. So if you've got high dex skills, or high dex attributes, you're going to do really well when it comes to stacking magazines. Right, where, where, where is it? Where is the ladder hatch? There's got to be one. There's got to be a ladder hatch. It can't be... It can't be on that helipad. Unless I'm missing it. No. I know you don't. Just don't be angry with me, okay? Just, just, just calm down. There's a pipe. A wee marine cap. Now, I think this one's got a locker in it. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, do you know where it might be? Do you know where the ladder hatch might be? It might be inside this, inside this hangar. Oh dear. Oh dear. Somebody know how to sleep yet? Oh, he's over, he's away over there. I'm kind of just watching my boots here. I kind of might want to prepare those actually. That's one thing that a lot of players seem to be forgetting right now, is the fact that if you... Constant use, constantly being on your feet, will render your boots kind of inoperable. It'll make your feet buoyed. Oh, I don't want him to be there. Maybe I can get in the main door. Oh, that's risky. That is a very risky move. Bottle of water. Perfect. Uh, let's just assign that to six. Get some more hydration going. The more hydrated you are in this game, the better, basically. Right. Uh, let's just let's just observe his pathing. What? Oh, that one came down to find me. That one came down to find me. There he is. He's kind of stuck on a tree. He can't... Oh, there he is. Stuck on a tree. As usual. Well, now that he's there... Now that he's kind of stuck there... Ooh. Now, I think I can get away with this. Yeah, I can definitely get away with this. Make use of the bush. The bush is your friend. Go, 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 go. Hmm. No ladder hatch, but some stuff to loot, though. Ooh! A combat helmet! That's a really good item. That's a really, really good item. Uh, fun fact, for those who don't know... Hmm. <laughs> The combat helmet has an integrated uh, ear protection system, which means you don't have to wear earplugs with those things. You don't have to wear earplugs with the combat helmet. 
that's 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 one of the good things about that helmet. That's a smartphone battery. Do I need that? I don't have anything electronic. Nah. I need to pee. Okay. Pee. Piddling at the back of a warehouse. Having a wee piddle at the back of the warehouse. That's it. Look to your left, look to your right. Make sure nobody can see you. It's not as if anybody's here. There we go. Zip up. There we go. Oh, you mother... That was rude. That was very rude. <laughs> that was a uh, that was kind of cheap. If I'm gonna be real with you, let's see if we can find some uh, some nasty ass rags. Oh wait, I've got rag strips. I forgot about that. Let me just uncraft these. There we go. Five little rag strips, and let's just choose three of these. Let's get them all tied together. Now, we will be limping, which is a wee bit of a problem. Just a little bit of a problem. We're still not in the bunker. I just want to have a little look around the top of it. Okay, treatment successful. Bleeding injury. Uh, let's take a painkiller. Just to uh, just to alleviate the pain. That we can actually... Oh, causing, causing limping. No. Oh, we're not actually limping. Better to keep it. Better to keep... Oh, I need to be careful with my injuries, huh? Okay. Oh, I'm lucky I stopped there. Uh, that would have started bleeding again if I uh, if I kept moving. Oh, it's going down. So right, okay. That this sentry has actually rendered me uh, kind of useless for right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip to the point where I'm actually healed, guys. So give me just two seconds. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm finally on to the recovery stage of uh, of my injury. Bit of a problem, that. Bit of a problem. Uh, I didn't expect the sentry to actually fire through this door, seeing as how it is steel. It, it looks very, very strong. It doesn't look as though a bullet would be able to pass through that. Maybe only the, uh, maybe only the windows, but, you know, he wasn't, he's not tall enough to do that. Right. We're going to try and get into this bunker. Keyword is try here. I don't know where the ladder hatch is here. You guys are probably going to tell me there is maybe not one in this area, or there isn't one at all. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go in the front door, <laughs> which is going to be a wee bit of a wee bit of a task, but we're going to try. We are definitely going to try. I'm going to go this way. Right, we're going to go outside. We're going to leave the uh, we're going to leave this area. And we're going to head down this direction here. And we're going to look and see what sort of uh, pathing we have to deal with. Okay, let me get a little bit of a lay of the land here. There's a bush there. Okay. He shouldn't aggro to me. Not yet, at least. If he turns around... I'll let him get past that a wee bit. Okay, we can keep walking here. Oh, he goes right to the front door. Do you see that? Okay, we can get a little bit closer. Okay, there he is right there. There's the front door. Let's hope and pray we can get in here, guys. Oh, this is this is this this has got to be some sort of cheat right here. <laughs> right, let let me just show you how. Uh, I mean, this is this is a little bit silly. He should be able to see me. Ooh. <laughs> we go. Door open, door open, door open. Let me in, let me in, squeeze in. We're in. We're in. We're actually in. 
We're actually inside this. <laughs> We're actually in. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm. I won't lie. I'm surprised. I'm confused at how easy that was. There's something. There's something wrong with this bunker. There's got to be something wrong with this bunker. Anybody home? Anybody home? Okay, I'm gonna shut that door. I'm gonna start looting here. <gasps> An AS Val VSS under barrel uh, flashlight. Very nice. MP5 rail. More 9mm tracer rounds. I'm just keeping my eyes wide open here, guys, because I don't know what might happen here. Oh! I need to drink that. I need to drink that. I need to keep myself well hydrated here. Now, we might actually find Phoenix Tears in here. We might find the container that holds the Phoenix Tears in this uh, in this here bunker. They've just spawned in. I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. Okay. Sounds like a lot of puppets are around the place. There's a there's a puppet just up there actually. He's dead. These these arrows don't these don't mess around. Now my question is can I try and bait them out? Can I try and bait the puppets out? Sounds like there's a lot of them here. He's dead. There's another one. He's dead. Oh! <laughs> right, taking our time. We're not rushing this. There are still uh, suicide puppets in here. Take my time. I need him to come to this door here. Come to the door. Come on. Come to the door. Come on. That's it. Okay. And you. He needs to. Okay. Perfect. Give me my arrow back. <laughs> He's getting dragged about. Right, the reason why I'm only walking right here, guys, is so I don't startle the suicide puppets. If I startle the suicide puppets, they will immediately zone in on me. And I don't... I don't want them to zone in as quickly as that. Okay, we need to search them, because they're now underneath the map. Give me those, give me those. He's dead. <laughs> Let me just back up a wee bit. I don't know if they're in the same corridor as me. They might be. He's just at that corner, I think. He's like right, he's like right there. I can't see him. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and bait him out here. Uh, what can I throw? What if I do this? Told you. Okay, that seems to be as clear, I think. Okay, cool. Damaged our arrows a little bit, but we're okay. That's perfect. That's... That's... That's magical. Oh, this is really good. Okay, so we've got an RPK. We've got, a, we've got some pretty good stuff in here, actually. This is pretty good. Uh, one of those. M16 or Mark 18. We've got ACOG sight. That's a, that's a magical sight right there. Another M9 clip. Or magazine, sorry. Magazine. 
Not clip. More nine mil. I'm gonna put the way the uh, the bow now. We're gonna lock pick this area here. And what I'll do is I'll actually take where did I put that? There it is. I'll take that with me. And let's stack the ammo. Magical. Magical. And we're sorted. Perfect. Excellent. Put those away. Let's lockpick. There we go. We're going to do these four. And then we're going to attempt to try and find the Phoenix Tears. I really want to try and find them. There we go. A wee bit of persuasion on that part. More knuckle dusters. And a shuriken. Come on. Of all the things you could have put in a secure locker, why would it be a knuckle duster? And why would it be a shuriken? I think there's one behind that door. Yeah, she's behind that door. Okay. Oh, maybe she's not. This is the medical bay. This right here is a medical bay. Right. Right, he's dead. Right, come over. There's one more. I, want, I need her to come over. Come over. Good. Good. Bingo! That's what we need. This right here. Pick lock. It's, it is it is an iron lock. Right, ladies and gents, we are going to try and get ourselves a... Um, we're going to try and get ourselves some Phoenix Tears. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. No. Damn it. No. This is difficult. This is so difficult. Oh, no. Yes. We got it! We got it! We got the Phoenix Tears! Rapid Recovery Serum! We got it! <laughs> we did it! We got it! Oh, look at this! Hold on. Look at this. Right, hold on. Let me put Let me put it in the light. Let, let me just put it on here. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Right. This... This is an amazing little gizmo. And you guys need to get it, because I've... I, I, <laughs> I've seen people use it already and I, I, I kind of want to get a hit. I kind of want to get hurt just to show you like how good this actually is. But, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it right here. We're going to stay here inside this medical bay. In fact, I'm going to go a step further and actually go into one of these bays right here. And we're going to just sit here. We're just going to chill here. And we're going to wait till the next episode to get the hell out of this bunker. We've achieved what we've wanted to achieve today, and it is to get the Phoenix Tears. I'm very happy about today right now. And I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode that much. You'd like to leave a like on this video. Tell me what you think down below. What do you guys think of the Phoenix Tears, by the way? Have you had a chance to try it? It's... It Oh, it's so cool! It's genuinely so cool. It's such a cool item, and it's only a three-use item. And oh, I, I, can't, I want to use it, but I actually want to get damaged. I want to get shot at, or get like a puppet to attack me, or something, just to show you what happens. Because it's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been enjoying these uh, these episodes, I've been putting out on the on the nearly on daily. Uh, weekly in fact almost almost every single day but um if you have been enjoying it and you've been enjoying it that much 
consider subscribing, ring the little bell, you step to date with videos just like this, as well as Metro, Stalker, and any other game that I feel like putting out during the week. Bonus for you guys is a Sunday night live stream between 6 and 7 pm UK time, and I stream for between 3 to 4 roughly hours. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to fangirl a little bit. The fact that I've managed to break uh, an iron lock and get Phoenix Tears, I'm so happy. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time.